Hello once again, and welcome to XCOM 2 Worse Than Failure. On today's episode, we're going to continue playing the game. And hopefully do stuff. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go to the bridge. Your troops seem to have had no trouble dispatching the latest alien threat, Commander. Excellent work. Hopefully the asset you recovered will prove useful. Okay. So we've got one hour left to do that one. So it looks like that's what we'll be doing. There we go. Time to launch the mission. So this is a... Uh, basically a supply mission. We need to stop the advent and then we, I believe, yeah, it says full salvage, so we get everything. So we should try as hard as we can not to destroy crates and stuff like that that, that are near where we're attacking. A transmission from a disabled advent troop transport that the resistance locked down in this area. The aliens haven't managed to get this thing moving, so we're going in to try and seize whatever materials we can from it. They won't be happy to see us. Eliminate any hostile resistance and secure the area. All right, here we go. Minus one five. The advent troop transport is nearby. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Hmm. Well, I assume the troop transport is this way. Yeah, the map extends pretty far in that direction. So let's start moving. Let's see, we've got a shinobi. Rolling. Let's go there. See if we find anything. Nope. So we will continue forward. <coughs> here we go. Looks like hostiles over here. Oh, there's some advent. We've got, I think that's an engineer and a gunner and a trooper and officer. Okay. This is a ranger. So I'm gonna go behind this tree. On it. All right, we got a specialist behind this tree. We've got an assault who needs to be close to the enemies, so I'll put him here. Time to move. We have another specialist. I'm gonna put them down here behind this tree. Head there now. Roger, come on. And we've got a grenadier. I can put them here behind these barrels. Got it. Overwatch. Here we go. Are they gonna see us? Maybe. If not, then we've got basically the best position we could have. Yeah, I think they didn't see us. So, let's see. Who do I want to reveal us? I think I want the Shinobi to reveal. Eyes on the prize. Roger. I got my eyes on. Roger. So everyone can see all of the enemy troops. So the question is. Who do I attack so that we're in cover? That's... looks like the officer might be the best bet. And then I could go behind that big tree. Well, let's see. The engineer has four health. And the officer has six health. So let's go for the officer. Cover's closed! Okay, time for the ambush. Target neutralized. Now they're all gonna start moving. Okay, but there was one more. We didn't. Nobody shot at the trooper. Is the trooper gonna move because he's flanked, or is he gonna shoot? He's gonna shoot, but he missed somehow. Okay. 
Well, I could shoot the trooper. Let's see, who has low rank? I think everyone here has a pretty low rank. Yeah. Uh, I guess I could move here, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's just use the shinobi. Don't really see any reason to pull somebody else over yet. Okay. Hostile target down. So I'm assuming the advent are in that direction. So let's move. Go, go, go. Yep, just kind of, kind of move towards them. Or at least towards where I hope they are. There they are. Oh, well, there's a lot of them. So there's a... There's a sentry in that group instead of an officer. Okay. Is there anywhere I can move to that would be good? Not on this turn. So I think I'll just move here and... Assume they're not going to try to flank me on one turn. Yeah, and I can't move into cover on this guy. I'm going to also move as far as I can go. Okay. Can I? Yes, I can attack. And I believe I may actually be able to use grenade. Let's find out. It would only hit one of them. Or, I could use a flashbang and hit two, maybe? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's going to be best bet to use the flashbang. And I think I'll just go for hitting these two. Because they're the most likely to be within range of the shinobi, and the shinobi can't move into cover on this turn. There they go. All right. Okay. One damage and overwatch removed. And that damage doesn't actually count as wounding. That was a miss. Okay. They're all over me. Everyone's going to be able to attack on the next turn, so it'll be fine. And I'm assuming that's a miss. Yes, that is a miss. I've been down here. Okay, and then the, the sentry. He missed, and he's overwatching automatically. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's start with the closer people. 54%. Let's see if somebody else has a better shot. 42%. Oh, actually, we have, we have lightning reflexes on this character. So I can just run straight up to the enemy. Let's see, where would the best place be? Maybe there? Maybe. Hmm. I think I'll go here. On and that, that will also, in addition to not getting my character ahead, it'll waste their overwatch shot. Oh, it's 50%. Let's see. Or... Yep. Okay, so that's one of them. There's three more. Okay. I could go here and flank, or I could go here and be close. I'm gonna flank. 99%, that's great. Okay. So now we've just got the officer and the sentry who are up. I can move here, or not the officer, the, the engineer in the sentry. I can move here, I can move here. Could I... Can't attack the sentry from there, or the, uh, or the engineer. I can attack both from there, so I'm gonna go there. Now let's see which one I have a better shot at. Looks like the engineer is gonna be the one who gets first. Wow, I'm getting pretty lucky with these 50%. Hostile terminated. 
course, the game lies to you if you're on an easy difficulty and 50% is actually much higher. But still. Okay, let's move there. And then... Hmm. We could go there. Just to see if we can hit him. We could go there, but that's not cover. That cannot hit him. Okay. Let's go here. And then we'll try hitting the sentry. 35%? Let's try it. I guess. Worst case scenario, there's one enemy up. Okay. So he's got one hit point left. And I believe, yes, we only have the shinobi. And the shinobi can't move close enough on this turn. So I'll just move them in the general vicinity of the other soldiers. Okay. Here comes the sentry. He's going to fall back. Well, there is definitely a sectoid on this map. And because I don't know where exactly the sectoid is, just that he's somewhere in the fog, I'm going to attack that Psy Zombie, unlike normal. But first, I'll grab that loot. We got a scope. Okay. Oh wait, do we... No, we see the, the Psy Zombie. Hmm. Two to four, probably not worth using up the shinobi's turn on that. Uh, we could go here, we could go here, and we wouldn't be able to hit it. We could go here and we would, but we might trigger an enemy. I'm gonna see if there's someone else. Okay. Uh, actually, let's go there. Yeah, Psy zombies are very easy to hit. Basically, any mind-controlled unit is very easy to hit. Okay, and we can reload because that was a ranger, so shooting doesn't end their turn. Okay, let's keep moving people up. Hopefully we will see the sectoid before I end my turn. Or if we don't, hopefully it won't be on the last part of my turn. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, and two vipers. Yes, that's very good. That means we can make nanomed kits. Of course, we still have to kill the vipers. That might not be as easy. Okay, it looks like I won't be able to kill the vipers on this turn, but I will be able to kill the sentry. Let's do that. Nope, I won't be able to kill any of them. Well, I do have other soldiers, I think. Could use some ammo over here. Yeah. Okay. I could move there. Let's try it. There we go. And unlike XCOM 1, Run and Gun actually lets me use any ability. But it looks like just shooting is going to be great. Let's see if this crits. Yes, it does. But it's not enough, apparently. Okay. Who do I still have left? Two people? I got the Shinobi, but they can't move far enough. So I'll put them behind full cover. Okay, and I've got the Specialist. Can I go anywhere with the Specialist that will help me? I could shoot one of those two from there. There's no cover up in front of that. Oh, actually. I wonder. Nope, there's no cover. There's this. Let's see if I can get a camera angle. That would let me shoot both of them, and it is cover. Let's try it. I hope I just clicked in cover. Yes, I did. Good. Okay, so 50% or 48%. I'm gonna say the Viper's more dangerous. Let's shoot the Viper, even though it's a lower chance to hit. There we go. One damage was enough. X-ray neutralized. Okay, now it's the alien's turn. That is probably going to be a mind control. Nope, it's just a panic. Okay. Good. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Wow. 
If that, that soldier wasn't wearing armor, they would be dead. That's a weird decision from the sentry. Go flank someone and then shoot at someone who's in full cover. Okay. We're gonna have the med kit heal on the medic. Actually, is that... I think I might be flanked. So I'm gonna go here. That way I've got full cover against the viper and I can kill the sentry. Okay. Target eliminated. So hopefully the Viper can't attack me. Uh, we've got over here. We can either attack... Yeah, we can only attack the Viper, but there's a tree here, which means the Sectoid can't see us for a... Like, it's full cover against the Sectoid, which is great. And moving far on a Shinobi with that attack is how you deal more damage. Okay. Who else do we have? I could go here. Uh, where else could I go? I don't think anywhere. Okay, so I can't shoot the sectoid. I'm just gonna overwatch. I do have a medic over here, but they also have a medkit, and I don't have the ability to use medkits remotely yet. So I'm going to go over here and grab the loot. And I will be in range of the sectoid on the next turn. Delirium, wow. That's nice. Okay. This is a ranger, so I can actually just run as far as I want, and I will still overwatch. So I think here might be good. It's probably the best I have, unless that's better. I think this is a better angle, though. 10-4! Okay. Sectoid's running. Five damage, that's good. Can they attack, though? Yes, okay. But that's not nearly as bad as the Viper was. Okay. We can kill the Sectoid doing that. But I don't really want to get out of cover to do that. That's 42%. Uh, we also have the uh, assault over here. They can't move far enough on this turn. There's a big transport ship or whatever. Okay. Let's go over here. Yeah, let's go here. And then we can... We're flanking the sectoid. There we go. Okay. Target eliminated. So was that everything? Status confirmed. That is, okay. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. We got a lot of stuff. I didn't even use my med kit on that soldier. Okay. Operation Helltooth. There we go. Let's see how wounded those two soldiers that got hit are. Just normal wounded, but nine, 14 days and nine days. All right. Uh, field surgeon, definitely. That means that wounds who are wounds to soldiers with this soldier and their team take a lot less time to recover. Uh, go heavy ordnance. Always shadow step, because shadow step means we can run past uh, anyone who's doing overwatch. That's great. 
Uh, let's see. Hovering fire, because that means that if we're in overwatch or ever vigilant mode, then we can attack the enemy even if they don't move, as long as they do something. And this one's great. Yeah, I'll go with close and personal. It basically gives us 30% critical chance if we're standing next to an enemy, and then like 25% if we're a different tile, like one tile away and so on. Okay. So we've got two Illyrium cores. Oh, okay. And importantly, two Viper corpses. Okay. So let's see, we've got the hazmat vest in three days. Did I not? Oh, I must have already gotten... Uh, oh no, Viper Autopsy's here. Okay. So I still need the Viper. Do we have any recruits? No. Alright. Let's keep looking around for stuff. Oh, we got a communication from the Resistance. We have a security breach. Hmm. So that's going to be the end of this episode, de facto. And there's two faceless there, so see you next time for Operation Winter Hound.